the trusty old 766 on here. That's my uh, redneck hopper. Four bales with a rat strap around it. Been doing it like that for years and it works, so whatever. And here's the truck on Moat Auger. Now um, Mia's going to be bringing it in, in uh, gravity wagons, at least the uh, first few loads. He needs to get some room in his bin to finish drying his corn down, so uh, he couldn't find anybody to, anybody to truck it, so he's just going to bring a couple wagons over and probably we'll try to find somebody with a semi to bring the rest over, but that truck on the load auger works really nice for even with the gravity wagons. You don't got to try it off the track. You'd have to have a really tall gravity wagon to get up over this mess, but yeah, this works pretty slick. So, I'm going to shut her down for the night and see what happens for tomorrow. Well, how's everybody doing? Um, take you guys back here and show you. This was the old uh, silo room. Used to be a silo right there and a silo right here. And I used to back the old uh, the Schuler wagon in between here and fill from both silos and do the poor man's TMR. Um, back when Dad first moved here, there was conveyors that ran up through the barn and out to the other side into bunks, but when he moved here, they were all junk, so he just tore them out and we used the feeder wagon. But since uh, we took the silos down, there was a originally a harvester right here. So we had to jackhammer that pad out. That was a hell of a job. They put a lot of cement in those pads. I think I might have a picture too in there I'll throw in here. So, uh, regardless, uh, we tore the roof of the old feed room down here. It was basically just a roof and there used to be a garage door on the front, but uh, you could never close it with the feeder wagon in there. So it was always kind of a miserable job in the winter, window was whipping through there. So, another one of those things I don't miss. <laughs> so, uh, if you're I'm putting a, a lean off the side of the barn, to make the calf barn. So, yeah, we got the roof knocked off yesterday. I gotta drag this out of here. And we've had all this lumber for quite a while. And finally, the guys that are gonna put this together for me decided yesterday they could show up and start working on her. You know, get done with chores today, drag this out, uh, I'm going to put a bunch of gravel in here, get this filled up uh, up to there, then we'll come in with some clean stone on top and then uh, a little bit of crushed lime, I'm going to get as much uh, gravel in here as we can to help with the drainage and stuff for the calf pens or calf stalls. We'll see how she goes. Oh, I thought I'd uh, show you guys something quick here. We're on uh, last day we were chopping. We had a little close call. Uh, buddy was a uh, was helping me that day. Yeah, pull the wagon up here, and so we use those speed hitches, and they're a wonderful thing. But boy, you really got to pay attention where you unhook stuff and make sure you got the uh, wagon tongues turned and stuff. Especially when everything sits on a hill like it does here. So we didn't have the tongue turn quite right. And it's not a real, it's just kind of a gradual slope here. But uh, it took off. <laughs> and it started coming around. Heading right through the old grain bin. I figured it was going to smack right through the center of it. And he did too by the looks of his face. <laughs> we got lucky and uh, kind of veered down this dip over here. And... The wheel hit the cement right there, it kind of scuffed up, and just got a little dent in the crease there, but you when know, I had a bunch of corn coming in a couple of days, and the thought of having a chopper box in the middle of the bin uh, was real pleasant, but uh, it worked out. Just always got to watch what you're doing with them things. Okay, we got uh, all the roof everything cut up and taken out of here so I guess now I've got to bring gravel in 
bring regular gravel up to the bottom of these boards and uh, not quite to where you see and hear these cement ties that's basically the floor of the barn I'm gonna fill this all in with regular gravel and then we're gonna do about two inches of clean stone and then whatever for lime on top when we get done but just we'll get putting some gravel in Oh, they'll let me run. Alright guys, I can't really come up with much else, so I'll uh, call this one good enough. And, oh, I think it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, and uh, my guys are supposed to come back to work on that calf part on Monday. So, so maybe by Monday, Tuesday, we'll get a little more progress done I can show. And, uh, I got a bunch of pepper pens and stuff to clean out, so we'll see what happens. So, I guess until then, we'll catch everybody later.